So let's uh, now chat to uh, the CEO of Debt Rescue, Annaline van der Poel, to talk to us a little bit more about uh, debt relief. Thanks very much indeed for joining us and welcome to the programme. Good evening, Peter, and thank you very much for having me. All right. So consumers under a lot of stress, a lot of distress as a result of COVID-19. And I would imagine that uh, a business such as yours, uh, offices like yours, probably inundated with people that need help. Let's start by trying to figure out, first of all, what on earth debt relief, debt rescue is. Well, um, Peter, the, the National Credit Act brought in um, this amazing ability to assist over-indebted consumers in the form of debt counselling or debt review. Um, it's the same, the same thing. And what it does is it assists consumers that are struggling financially, where by, um, if you look at a budget, and um, it's that one thing most of us hate having to do, unfortunately, but getting an understanding of what your financial circumstances are, looking at your income and your expenses, and what you have remaining to pay towards your debt. And if that amount that you have after your reasonable living expenses have been taken um, off of that, does not cover your minimum debt installments that you need to repay, you're very likely over indebted. And what the debt counselling process does, it's a legal process. Um, it's, uh, it, in, it involves engagement between a debt counsellor on behalf of the consumer with his credit providers to assist by reducing his monthly instalments and by extending the repayment terms, thereby ensuring that the consumer has the necessary funds available in his budget at the end of the day to repay his debt and, and honour his debt obligations, but in a, in, a, in a manner whereby he can still balance his budget and still you know, um, mm. pay for food and rent and, and you know, transport and the necessary um, items that we need. All right, so let's be clear. It, it, debt relief, debt rescue is not about uh, writing off debt. It's actually just restructuring it in a way that becomes manageable. Absolutely, and, and honouring the debt because, mm. I mean, the bulk of consumers have the, the full intention of repaying their debt. It's just that they cannot afford to do it at the moment because, you know, life, life changes, especially because of COVID-19, have had a dramatic impact on, on, on their budgets and they want to repay the debt, but um, they just can't afford it at the, at the rates that they initially took it out. One question I've always been curious about, because you see it sometimes on credit application forms, are you in debt rescue or have you ever had debt rescue? Does this become a credit rating issue when you get into debt relief? No. Once, once you've repaid your debt, um, you, there, there's different criteria that need to be met. But in, if your unsecured debt have, has been repaid, um, you get issued with a clearance certificate and your um, status as being under debt review gets removed from your, your credit profile. And, I mean, obviously, this is... is, is um, Part of the history of, of the process is consumers can then go and apply for debt again and um, I think more and more as, as the process goes on credit providers look towards consumers who've, who've completed the process in, in a very positive manner because they're not consumers who are running away from the debt but are actually honoring it um, you know albeit not at the original um, contractual agreement they've actually made the effort to settle yeah. this debt. I would imagine coming to a debt counsellor it sometimes might be a pride thing but you probably want to get help as quickly as you can, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I think um, historically most people don't speak about their financial um, circumstances, um, especially when, it's, when, when things are going difficult and, and when they're struggling. And it is, it is quite difficult to, to be honest enough um, and speak about it and seek help. But the thing is, is the sooner you seek help, the sooner you can get out of the, you know, out of this difficult situation that you're on, the sooner you can get the, the relief that that, um, you know, will give you that peace, knowing that you are preventing legal um, legal action in the form of, for example, a judgment, repossession of assets, etc., um, because you get that protection through debt counselling, but also that you know that you are. Um, looking towards paying this debt, you stop the hounding of credit providers who contact you, you know, um, trying to follow up for payments that you just cannot make. Are you finding that uh, the credit providers are actually coming to the party as well? Because I guess this is a win-win situation, isn't it? Absolutely, yes, yes. I mean, the, the, the process has been going on for quite some time now, and credit providers, um, you know, understand um, from the process side, it's, it's a very transparent process. They can see exactly what payment they're going to be getting mm -hmm. each month, um, you know, how long the payments will take until the debt is settled, etc. So it's incredibly transparent. Um, and, you know, from, from their side, 
they seeing the settlements of these debts, which is at the end of the day, um, you know, it's a very positive step that that's being taken. And, and we, it, the, the the cooperation between credit providers yeah. and debt counselors is, is is very very positive. Laura, so you guys have been at this uh, for years, and uh, you see trends and you see. Uh, things that people do all the time. I always say prevention is better than cure. What would you advise someone ahead of time? Don't do this, don't do that, because otherwise, in five years' time, I know I'm going to see you in my office. What are the typical mistakes that most people are doing that end up uh, getting them into trouble? Well, I think COVID-19 has proven to us that um, no matter how far we try and plan and prevent, that there's some circumstances that are just honestly way mm. beyond our control. Um, and, you know, we've seen that in the form of job losses and salary reductions, et cetera. And then it's very difficult to plan for something like that. But when it comes to, to you know, normal circumstances, if you weren't affected or you're looking to the future here, yeah, I think, um, like I said, it's a very good thing to start with a budget. Um, we're human. We work very hard for, for our salaries. And obviously... The bulk of us live to the maximum of our means so mm -hmm. in other words we, we make sure that um, at the end of the month if we are able to pay our, our bills that whatever's left not much goes into saving per se um, and south africa does have one of the the lowest um savings cultures in the world is that the sooner we can get into that point where um we can not just only focus on 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 saving but also just look towards differentiating between the wants and the needs yeah. um it's very nice obviously to have to have the wants but um you know, understanding that if we don't have provision, um, whether it be for a deposit for something or in case of emergency, a vehicle breaking down or, or anything to that effect, that it could set us back quite dramatically. So, um, you know, I think that the important thing here is, is don't live to your means if you yeah. possibly can. If, if, if you are able to, try put some money away, but but um, don't extend yourself to the maximum, absolute maximum when it comes to debt. All right. And debt counselling, how much control do you take and how much do consumers have to give up to get this right? Because I guess left to their own devices, some people will just carry on doing what they did. Well, the, the thing with this is, is because it's such a transparent process and you can mm. see exactly um, how each debt starts being paid off, et cetera, um, the control still stays with the consumer and, and, and the responsibility stays with the consumer because at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the day, every month they have to make their repayments um, towards their credit providers to make sure that their debts get paid. So the control still stays with them, um, but it's discipline. It's definitely a discipline process. Um, you know, you have to commit to making those payments every single month and making sure they're, do they're done on time, et cetera. But um, I think it, it becomes, it, it just becomes a new habit in terms of how you make the lifestyle yeah. changes to make sure that you're able to do this. Alan Lien van der Poel, thank you so much indeed for joining us and uh, sharing these valuable thoughts with us this evening. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, um, that's uh, the CEO of uh, Debt Rescue, uh, Annalene van der Poel. And that's where we come to the end of today's episode.